I'm going to show you how to start a Royal Enfield, um, which lots of people can't do because of the decompression, so people get confused. Um, so this is your decompression lever on this. On some of the more modern ones, your decompression lever is on the handlebars here. Um, but this is an old 50s style, so this is your decompression lever here. So first things first, you need to make sure that your fuel is on. So turn your fuel to on. This one is off on the up. Uh, on is that way and reserve is this way. So my fuel is on. Um, some Royal Enfields, um, the tap just must face in line with the fuel pipe, um, like normal uh, fuel taps. Um, then make sure your key is turned on. So on the other side here, underneath the seat, you can see the key. On this one, turn it one click forward, and now you can see that your, uh, your ignition switch is on, so on to the forward. Once you've done that, um, it's best practice before you try and start your bike just to turn it over a few times, and to do that you need to decompress your engine. So if we look at this decompression switch again, it's here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is pull that decompression switch in and then on the kickstart, I'm just going to push through a couple of revolutions, nice and slow, and then you'll feel and hear the piston moving up and down in the barrel. And then if you look at the amp meter, and all Royal Enfields will have an amp meter, this one's on the Lucas style lamp on the front. As you see, I'm slowly pushing through those compressions, you'll see the amp meter drop down towards the minus and back up to the middle. To start this bike, your needle needs to be where it is in the middle. Um, if you try and start it with the needle there, when it's down towards the minus, you're not gonna be able to start the bike or you're gonna have to kick it very, very hard to do so. So make it easy, slowly through a compression cycle, make sure that needle's back up to the middle. And once it is, you know everything's been checked, then you can give it one big kick.